Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part 30 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6. And in this series, we will finally, uh, in this video, we will finally start working on the detail page uh, of e-commerce website. And see, so far what we have done, we have done the index page, we have done the home page of, of our uh, website, and we have done the listing page as well. Uh, see, we have created the listing page as well and now we will create the detail page okay so first i will see uh, the listing pages uh, must work fine only then we can start working on detail page so i will see that listing pages are enabled must be enabled see here only two is coming so we will uh, see all the listing pages must be enabled okay fine yeah we will check that t-shirt uh, yeah it must be enabled so that we can view the listing page here uh, yeah now it is coming fine so t-shirt is the essential category for us uh, we are working on the t-shirts most of the time so see uh, this is the home page and after that uh, this is the listing page that we have created last time okay now we will create detail page detail page will come when we we'll click on uh, the link here then the detail page will come okay so we can also put link here we can also put link here and after clicking on this thing uh, the product uh, on listing page we will reach the detail page and um, uh, now the detail page link we will specify something like product slash id means one id two id whatever id it is we will uh, display like this detail page or link of the detail page so we will cover everything but first of all we will remove unwanted data from the listing page as well because it can uh, create uh, create confusion for us so uh, so we will uh, remove all unwanted data from the listing page okay so uh, uh, in this uh, video uh, we are going to to work on detail page of our website okay and uh, but first of all and also and also we are going to uh, clear uh, unwanted we are going to remove unwanted data want data from our listing page as well okay so first of all we will clear this unwanted data in uh, quickly uh, uh, unwanted data unwanted data from listing page listing page file okay so we are going to do this step see what i will do i will simply remove uh, open first listing fine and uh, we'll remove unnecessary means brand we are not required we are not working on brand only categories we are required so i am going to remove brand okay so you can remove this brand section completely okay and after so here also you can uh, move brand uh, part of html and after that uh, what do you want to remove see i will just save it and uh, see price range also and add also uh, everything that uh, uh, means that you don't want see price range also you can uh, and read and add also you can or uh, whatever it is shipping uh, given and you can remove all those unwanted data okay uh, brand spot of estimate uh, price range and uh, see, i'm going to save it and you can see yeah that is what is gone only uh, categories left in the right side and we will also remove uh, these kind of data from here and this is also not required 
So uh, we will also remove. Here I will see. Yeah, from here it start. See, yeah, or recommended item like this. This one I am also going to remove. Now see. Fine. So I have. Uh, that part of the one size range of camel and uh, and below S and below SML and you can uh, and recommended under product part of SML. function 
product this is the product function we will use and id we are passing we will do like null okay yeah like this okay fine <coughs> now uh now we will uh, we want to get product details okay yeah uh, so i will uh, one variable anything we can do product details as well like this and in here we can uh, get from model and the id we are getting you can we can do like this id and with dollar id we are getting from dollar id this is another way uh, if we are having only uh, one specific uh, uh, element in where clause and so we can do like this and uh, after that <coughs> just uh, first because uh we just want to retrieve uh, the data from only one row so that's why we will use first okay so uh, this is the thing uh, to get uh, the product details of particular id okay we get product details we will get product details of the particular id from this one and then we will simply return it to view uh, we will create the detail page detail blade file in product so we will mark it like this and with compact uh product detail we are going to pass okay like this simple enough and <coughs> hope everything is clear to you and uh, now we will see uh yeah yeah now uh we will see that uh, uh we will check that uh which ids we are having in in uh, uh in products so that we can open directly later on we will also provide the link and <coughs> so let's see I'm going to open the product table in uh, sample database that I am using. So I'm just going to check that which ID or we can check here as well uh, so that we can open the link directly. See, 7 ID, I will open 7 ID. See, I will open like this product and then 7. Okay. And uh, but the page will not come because detail page still we have not created. So the in next step we will create the uh, detail blade file and yeah okay. So we will create uh, this create detail dot blade dot php file that we are going to create. Okay. Uh, so now create. Uh, detail blade file blade uh, file uh, in products folder uh, folder under views folder uh, similar like similar like uh, listing blade file and uh, uh, we can uh, we can uh, simply uh, uh, copy paste the listing bit file and can add the design to it. We can simply add a uh, front design to it. We can simply add yeah front design to it and uh, and then uh, add its middle content uh, that is the main part of detail bit file from our from HTML page from the HTML page and that we will find uh, from eShopper template and we will copy the its main part from the SQL page this one this one we are going to make uh, this kind of detail page okay so this part we want to copy sorry this part we want to copy along with image and some description as well okay so uh, we will copy uh, this from the product details page as well middle content we can copy from this uh, file from each proper template okay so and then its middle content 
uh, we will copy from a from uh, uh, product detail uh, yeah, located at each of template okay and <clears throat> so we can start working on creating this detail page file okay i will simply listing we can open listing blade file we have already opened listing blade file we can simply uh, do one thing we can simply file save as and we can use it like detail to save over time no need to do everything again and again okay so we can remove this part so after that see the, our design is added to the detail file now we are going to uh, add the html part from our template okay so we are header is already there section part we will add okay see yeah we will add section part and section part i am going to add here like this fine yeah now see now this section part is fine and uh yeah now we see uh like this we can just correct it uh, a little bit yeah now it's fine now we are going to see uh, the detail page is coming fine or not see now the detail page has come now it is coming but it is the static detail page we need to make it dynamic okay so this is the static detail page up till now and uh, see this part we will also uh, make it dynamic uh see this is fine but left part we will also make it dynamic uh similar to listing blade file okay so uh, i will just copy this part from listing blade file and uh see this yeah category portion i will copy i will check there that from where it is starting left sidebar i am going to copy similar to uh, this one and i will uh, yeah from it, here it is starting field and so i am going to replace this uh, deep left sidebar uh, this complete code i am going to replace in detail file from listing so that we can add the left sidebar dynamically see uh, this is the thing we need to add from our uh, products uh, uh, function the categories and subcategories details so we will simply copy and paste its details here in product function so that we can get sidebar as well okay we need to pass it as well okay so that it will come there in our blade file so we have added now now see now it's coming fine now left part is also dynamic okay and uh, now we will work on this part we will make it dynamic as well okay so uh, for now we will just add image and the content and rest we will do later on okay and but we have created this time the detail blade file and we started working on it that is the big thing because you have to know that how we need to create new blade files and how to make it dynamic and how to make the routes of those files because you need to make uh, those uh, this kind of routes this kind of blade files this kind of pages again and again in your project so you need to make sure that uh, you uh, you made everything in a perfect way okay so uh, uh, i'm going to update uh, this detail blade file with some of the uh, dynamic data so i will do that see here uh, yeah yeah now see the product name i am going to use it dynamically and see here and i am going to use dollar product details here and we'll use product name and we will see that this uh, name is now coming dynamically or not we are using see green t-shirt is coming fine and now here we will use code product code and we will simply copy this part here 
and we will use code okay but code fine see now yeah now it is coming fine see us dollar uh, we will do inr we are sending price in inr you can do it in dollar no issue if you want to do but we are doing in inr so i will just uh, copy paste the inr and and uh, means will change to inr and uh, we'll use price yeah now see it's inr uh, price is 2200 you can even convert it to dollar if you want okay so but you uh, just need to specify the amount in dollar if you are using dollar currency and we will see image as well okay not to see image as well and so we will set the path for image here okay let's see how to set the path for image <coughs> we will do in a similar way see this is the image path we need to add and we can copy the path from listing itself and because the path is same uh, and but we will change it uh, we can do it medium or large whatever we will use medium okay no issue and zoom we are not doing right now so we can simply disable zoom okay we will add zoom also later on but uh, right now uh, yeah uh, we will just update it now uh, we will add our own uh, variable here that we are using see now now the image has also come but image is not coming accurately now uh, we will uh, remove the height kind of thing uh, from our main dot css uh, otherwise you need to add bigger image then there will be no issue okay other uh, else you can remove this height portion we can do like this okay yeah hide you can simply disable the height and it will come fine then see now it is coming fine image is also coming fine green t-shirt code is also coming price is also coming in stock is also coming brand we are not using brand we can remove and quantity we can set is uh, set as one by default okay and brand we are not using at this time so we can move brand availability in stock new no issue and uh, we can set quantity as well okay now see uh, here details are here portion yeah fine like this now see one quantity everything is fine see yeah this part we will do description that we are adding for every product we will add description there and uh, this is just the idea just the hint of the detail page but we can store much more data like material uh, fabric and you know, wash care means much more data so we will add some more data in next video and we'll show here then we will show here description wash care fabric material and we can also show more data means there is much more data but we have shown the limited data uh, so that uh, we can focus on other things as well and uh, but we will continue uh, so uh, hope everything is clear to you and uh, uh, now is you have seen in video now you have seen in video uh plug detail page detail page is coming fine uh, and we have also added some so show some of the data data uh rest we will do so in next video okay so stay tuned for next video and thanks for watching okay i hope everything is clear to you and uh, uh, okay uh, 
here. And one more thing we are left with, uh, that is also essential, that we have to link this with the listing blade file, okay? So, uh, one more quick step we are going to update now. See, uh, you, we need to update listing blade file, uh, blade.php file, and we need to update, we need to update uh, link of uh, product at listing blade file thing blade file so uh, so that uh, a user can reach detail blade uh, detail page after clicking on them okay so uh, this thing we will do now uh, I'll just a simple step and uh, see I'm going to open listing blade file like this and here I am going to add yeah link okay very simple like we used to add uh, many times product and after that uh, uh, we will just close it like this and then dot and dollar uh, product again then id will come like this okay very simply done like this and uh, now we will check we'll just refresh check here coming fine we will check another one also coming fine so it's coming fine uh, so link we have also added and uh, we just uh, I will just specify that this is the link that you need to add uh, like this okay so uh, hope everything is clear to you up till now and uh, I will get back to you uh, with, uh, with more uh, uh, information, more uh, few more things in detail page, then we will also do do zoom. Zoom we will also do later on, and uh, this part also we will add completely add, and after that we will move to shopping cart. Uh, but once the detail page is ready, and also uh, we will do recommended items part as well. So uh, it's just the beginning of the detail page and I hope everything is clear to you and uh, in future uh, I will uh, uh, speak more rather than writing data here but I will try my best to, so that you will get all the points uh, so that I can also add this thing in description so uh, means if anything is not clear if my voice is not clear my wording is not my English is not so good, so that's why uh, my actually oral English is not so good, verbal is a bit fine, so uh, that's why I'm going to write for you every time. Uh, so uh, that's all for now. Uh, have a nice time. Goodbye.